Hi everyone, welcome to um, this info session of Ecos Global. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Global Entrepreneurship Program. My name is Cesar Sanchez, Associate Director of Ecos Global, and we have today Irena Weed. Irena, could you introduce yourself, please? Hi, yeah, I'm one of the, oh, sorry, that happens. Um, I'm one of the Ecos Global interns, and I'm here to answer any questions, so please put them in the chat. Uh, or in the Q and A, and I'll answer them with whatever we have. Yeah. So as we go along, feel free to post any questions that you may have, and uh, Irena will be um, answering those. And if she doesn't have the answer, uh, we'll talk about. We'll cover all the questions at the end. So uh, this year we we hosted our global entrepreneurship program. It was very successful. We had nineteen students uh, in Nice, France. This year we decided to change the cities and we are gonna to go to Barcelona uh, next year. So some of the highlights of the experience are that you will get a full minor in entrepreneurship. Uh, so if you don't have any entrepreneurship classes or anything like that, or, or you wanted to get a full minor, this is a great opportunity because you can do it all in one semester throughout the summer, it's awesome. Also, everyone that participates in this program will get an internship. So that's also makes, uh, this program very unique because you will be able to put in your resume two things at the end of the program. One, that you participated in, in a study abroad program in Barcelona. And the second one is that you, you, you did an internship in Barcelona during the summer. So that adds a lot of value to your resume. Uh, we'll also have three excursions in Europe. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. Our global entrepreneurship program has been all over the world. Uh, here we have pictures from our students in Japan, Jerusalem, Patagonia, Machu Picchu, Thailand, Italy. I mean, we've done this program everywhere and it's been so much fun. We started doing this back in 2018. Um, back then it was a certificate program, but we upgraded it to a minor by including the internship as part of the one of the classes. Uh, let's see, so these are the courses. So all entrepreneurship courses, all taught by U of U faculty. Uh, I teach the um, business consulting internship course. Sometimes I teach other courses that are on this list, but yeah, so all the faculty go from here to Barcelona at different times of the summer. Weekend excursions. This is pretty cool. We, we decided this for 2023 to do three different weekend excursions, but not your regular trip to the beach or something like that. We're gonna go to Madrid, Copenhagen and Lisbon. So those are three different, very different cities uh, in Europe. So we have Madrid, the capital of Spain. Then we're gonna learn uh, about the business culture in Spain. We'll probably have a business visit as well. Copenhagen, Copenhagen is completely, different and the business culture, what they're focused on. And yeah, that, that's gonna be really awesome. And, and Lisbon as well, Lisbon, um, very um, old city that has a lot of history. So those will be our weekend excursions. And, and we'll go on different weekends throughout, throughout uh, the summer from Friday to Sunday. And we'll also have, I will be there and also the whoever's teaching there at the moment will visit as well class calendar. So we get started on day one on May 15th. So that's when um, you arrive to Barcelona. So you'll be getting on your flight on May 15th. Then we start right away with entrepreneurship finance for a couple of weeks. Then we go into section two um, that starts right off when my birthday is May 29th. And uh, we have entrepreneurship 1010 and and um, it's actually entrepreneurship 5770, both courses, uh, one taught in the morning and one in the afternoon. The, uh, one class taught by Heidi Herrick and one, the other class taught by Corb Bowen, right? Then we go into entrepreneurship marketing. So if you're business scholars right now, you probably know Jeff Davis, the guy with the beard. Um, so he teaches entrepreneurship marketing. Very cool class, very cool projects that he does. And we actually team up to, to do some activities during that class. And then in the afternoons during this section, you will be working on your internship project. Uh, 
it's a business consulting internship. All right, and then at the end, you have one class. This one will be online asynchronous with Professor Heidi Herrick, and then you're done. All right, so let's continue here. We will have a provider partner, CEA. So CEA is a, it's an agency that's located in different parts of the world. They provide different types of services to us US universities. So they provide classroom facilities, they provide on-site staff. Uh, so in case of anybody has any type of issue, you go to them and they help you out with whatever emergency you may have. They're available 24 seven for us. Uh, and their campuses include, you know, uh, lounge, co-working space, classroom, Wi-Fi, printer, internet, whatever. And the center in Barcelona is located right on Plaza Catalunya, which is the very center of Madrid. So if you're ever in Madrid, I mean, Madrid, why did I say Madrid? Barcelona. <laughs> so it's located right in the very center of Barcelona. Uh, right next to big shopping malls and supermarkets. This is the best spot possible, I think, in Barcelona to have a center. So it's very, very well located. CA is also uh, arranging some cultural activities for us. So we are gonna learn about the history of the human towers. We will not participate of that, but uh, we're gonna learn about it. Also, we're gonna have a guided tour of La Sagrada Familia and a visit to Park Well, both uh, pieces of art of Gaudi. Also included by CA, so before we even go, they're gonna give you different type of support information regarding Barcelona and, and different things. Also, they'll do some surveys to be able to figure out the roommate situation. They'll include also an insurance for you. And like I said before, 24-7 uh, emergency assistant, because one thing that we do with them is, you know, we tell them health and safety is our priority. So we want you to do well. We want you to perform well. We want you to have fun and learn. But also if something happens, we want to know and we want to help you out. And that's why we request that uh, to CEA that they're available 24-7 in case of any type of medical emergency or some kind of other emergency. And they'll actually highlight to you during the sessions that they will have with the ones that register and get accepted. They'll have sessions that they will describe what's an emergency, what's not an emergency. You know, I lost my phone, not an emergency. My, my apartment's on fire, an emergency, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, so it's very clear for you and them what's an emergency, what's not an emergency. And we'll also have a orientation day in Barcelona where we're gonna cover much more of this. So uh, entrepreneurship business consulting uh, internship. So what we will do there, we're gonna pair you up with some companies, local companies, and they will give you different projects. And we're gonna work along these companies for four weeks. During those four weeks, you also have to do some assignments for, for Echoes, um, not so much, but that's how we get you the three credit hours. Okay, so it's it's almost like a pass and fail class, but uh, there are some assignments that are required. And then at the end of your internship, the supervisor will approach me and say, look, this person really put in the effort, they did really well, this is the grade that I suggest then I evaluate that and I'm the one that assigns the grade at the end of the day, not them. So I do that, okay? Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, Irena in the chat. She's available and ready to answer any questions. Housing. So housing is included also in your experience. It's share housing. You'll have a roommate um, and the, the apartments are really nice. They include, of course, Wi-Fi, a washer and everything that you may need. So you don't need to buy anything for your apartment. And they're usually located in very nice places. You will have to commute. So because of that, is that we include a transportation pass that's gonna get you from where you live to the study center. And the, the commute depends, it could be 10, 20 minutes, maybe 30, but the Metro in Barcelona is very safe. It's very straightforward. And most of the lines converge right on Plaza Catalunya, which is where the center is. 
So it's right around this area. So you see how all the lines are going there. Uh, so it's very easy to get around. Now, this is a big question that comes up all the time. Are there scholarships available? There are. So there are many different types of scholarships. Irena, could you please paste that link in the, in the chat so everyone can access it? Uh, so you'll see there that there are internships for like uh, social media internship, I mean, scholarship, scholarships for uh, writing an article. There's many different types of scholarships. Also, some of the scholarships that you currently have may also apply to this program. So we encourage you to talk to the Office of Learning Abroad in regards to scholarships. They are the one that provides them and they're the ones that can guide you better in terms of what works for you in your own situation. Cost of the experience is $16,000, which is very comparable to spending a semester here, including your housing, your credit. This is an 18 credit hour experience. So include all the tuitions and fee, housing, excursions, evacuation insurance, medical insurance, and of course not included your food, your travel on your own time and personal expenses. This is a very awesome experience, very competitive. Last year we had over 60 applicants and we were only able to accept um, 19, 20 actually, but one person couldn't go last minute. So I would encourage you to start your applications. The link is in our website. Any questions? Irina, are there any questions that we need to talk in, in the group? Um, if you could just talk about how the application process goes. Some people are asking about um, the essay when you're deciding to be accepted. Okay, great. So great question. Once you open up the application, it's actually an essay. It's like a personal statement of why you want to go and why you want to be part of this program. I would say, you know, first of all, mention that you learn about this program, how you learn about this program. Then also talk about uh, the fact that you attended this info session, uh, then I'll know that you were you were present here. I'm the one that reviews the applications and then start accepting students. So I also, once I see an application come in, I invite you to meet with me. So you come to my office, we talk about why you want to join the program. We talk about maybe your summer plans and figure out how this is a good fit for you. And so in your personal statement, just just express why you want to join. There's nothing, not, there's not a secret sauce uh, for it. I think that the biggest thing is saying why you want to join this program, how it fits your, your, your college career. And then, uh, and then we still have to meet. So then I'll get to know you personally. So that's because I, I found that, that some people have issues writing that, but that's okay because at the end of the day, you have to meet with me in order to get accepted into the program. So, so yeah, no, no issues. Don't worry about that too much. Any other questions? Any other questions about this program or any other ECOS global experience? And prerequisites. No, there are no prerequisites. You can be a, you may not even have a declared major and you can still join the program. Also, you could, you can be a non-business student across the university and you can join the program. We've had engineering school, uh, physical science or something like that, student uh, last semester. Yes, freshmen can join the program. That's not a problem. So no issues with that. You know, I think that the most important parts are filling out your application as soon as you can, paying the deposit, the $500 deposit. And once you do that, it's when I send an email to the ones that made the deposit and, and start scheduling meetings. Also, so you have an idea last year, we were sold out by the end of October. That was kind of quick, but within, within like a month, we had so many applications. Um, so yeah, so, and I also accept students on a rolling basis. So if an application is completed, I review, I meet with the student, I can accept it right away. 
Uh, let's see. If you do this major, can you still major in entrepreneurship? In a way, you can. I mean, some of the courses are require uh, ENTP uh, major requirements, but you can come to my office and we can talk about the requirements and how would actually better suit this experience to you. So Kara, are there any other scholarships? So right now, those through learning abroad are the ones that, that we can offer at the moment. Those are the only ones that we have. We may have some in the future. We're working, we're trying to get uh, some donors involved in order to lower the price, but that's what we have right now. And, and the amounts of scholarships that you can get from learning abroad are very different. I mean, I've heard of people that get almost half of their program paid by scholarships through the learning abroad office. All right, we have another question just in case I'm taking, okay. So if you already took a class, so in this case, Entrepreneurship 1020, then you don't have to show up to class. You don't have to register for that class at all. If, if you like the grade that you received in the first place, right? So if you, if you, if you got an A, you don't have to register at all uh, to the class or even, even if you got a C, it's up to you. If you want to improve the grade that you had before, then register in the class. But no, you, you do not have to register in the class if you're already taking the course. The cost of the program remains the same because it's a package deal, but you do not have to uh, join the class. You can go to the beach instead. I would do that. Any other questions? Any other questions? Again, this is an awesome program. I've seen people's lives change uh, with this program. The, the type of jobs that students get, the type of uh, internships they get after this program, it all changes. It opens up so many doors. And usually the first question that uh, students get when they're interviewing for a job is about their summer experience and about the one internship that they did abroad. And how was it to live in this case would be Barcelona. It always comes up first. And how I know that? Because I, I have to write so many recommendation letters for, for students uh, at the end of the program or maybe a year after they graduated. They reach out to me and they say, they really want uh, to hear from you about this experience and really cool jobs. Uh, we received another question. Yes, there'll be a QR code in just a second. All right, so we're gonna stop recording now. Do you want me to share that now?